this here is uh, our shop's uh, fluke me uh, multimeter. It's a 8022A. Not quite sure what year it is, um, but we've had it for as long as I can remember, at least eight, ten years. And it used to belong to the original owner of the shop I work at. Um, well, here I'm, I've given it a bit of a clean up today, just to make it look a bit better. Because the poor thing looks like it's been mistreated all its life, but no, nah, it's just been hard, hard worked. It usually gets used around on computers trying to find out what, um, yeah, how the boards are going, and make sure we're getting the right voltages out of power supplies and testing old components and things like that. Um, I did spend a bit of time pulling it apart just to see what was inside of it, which we'll see in a second. <coughs> Here you can see, uh, me getting into it. Uh, Apologies for the uh, bad video quality, but my camera was, or my phone was on the wrong setting and didn't realise until I got home and plugged it into the computer to see what we were looking at. The uh, battery clip could probably do with being replaced. It's been resold at one point in its life. Um, relatively easy machines to get into. There's three screws, pretty big screws. They just screw straight into the plastic. There's no sort of metal studs or nothing. It's just self tappers. And then I was expecting the bottom to come off, but no, it's from the top. The top comes off. You've got the uh, <coughs> shielding just there, which is screwed in. A little screw, that screw up. That just electrically connects it to the common connection or the ground connection or whatever, which is the middle pin. Um, that middle post that your test leads go into. I hadn't seen this one inside this one before. I've seen inside older ones where they got the spinny selector thing, but this one's all buttons. It's all push button. The two white ones are click in, click out, and the others are like a tape deck. You push one in, the other one comes out, and the other one comes out, you know. Bloody fuses on this thing, I'll tell you. That one there. So there's a little tiny one just here, which you can replace from the battery compartment. <clears throat> but on the other side, that bloody thing is freaking huge. It's rated at 600 volt uh, DC. Display is firmly attached to the PCB. All through all. I'm trying to work out how old this thing is. I'm going to be guessing it's probably around about the 20 year mark. The PCB just lifts out. It's all, as you can see, through hole. <coughs> the posts that the Leads go into a like extruded or solid steel posts. They're not rolled or anything like that. Pretty cool. You could you can actually use it like that, even though it's not recommended for safety reasons. Works nicely. on the board on the right hand side of the blue switches you can sort of make out where my fingers are they're um, adjustable pots for calibrating uh, AC and DC inputs just testing if it still works out of its case 1.2 odd volts. It's a rechargeable battery out of a cordless phone. Triple A. That beep was the phone. These don't have internal beepers. That's the uh, shielding. It wraps all the way around. So if you get an arc over, it flashes straight to that and then straight to common. <coughs> it's got pretty nice channeling around the outer edge as well. 
I mean, if they flash over or whatever, so you don't get a whack on your hand. You just cleaning the case up with a bit of metho. Seems to work quite well. The case has been yellowed just from time. So sort I of can't clean that up too much. You know, apparently there's some stuff you can use to clean it up, but <coughs> it's kind of all right. That's what she looks like.